right, so I got a good question from Mike Wright. He uh, sent me a message on Twitter. He says that he gets people in arm triangles a lot, but he has a hard time finishing. What can I do? All right, Mike, so me and John are gonna show you some tweaks to your arm triangle to help you get the finish. All right, so first off, whenever I do the arm triangle, I don't use the traditional bicep grip, like hand and bicep or anything like that. One, um, I don't have really long arms. I actually, for my weight, I have pretty short arms. Um, and also, if I, if I go up against a big guy in my weight class, it's easy, typically in the heavyweight and super heavyweight divisions, we've got some shoulders on us, and it's hard to get that lock. Um, also, this creates a little bit of space. So I'm gonna show you the way that I do the arm triangle first, and then I'll show you a couple tips that you can use to make them tighter. So first off, I'm gonna be go doing a S grip in a second right here. The arm that's gonna be under the head is gonna be palm down. So when I'm here, I'm gonna be palm down. This one will be palm up, and I'm gonna show you why in just a second. This here, if you notice, when I turn my palm down, it makes the muscle flex here against my arm. I'm not sure what muscle that is, but it makes it flex. So this is gonna be a little bit tighter on his neck. And I use this grip opposed to this or this, because again, I wanna keep it flat on the mat. So again, you, you're saying that you're getting into the arm triangle, so I'm not gonna go over a setup for it. We'll say that we get into it. So first off, a lot of times I set up from the mount here, okay? You can set it up with the waist, but one of the first things that guys typically mess up is their shoulder placement. Okay, a lot of times I'll see guys try to finish the arm triangle, but their shoulder is up against the um, chin. So one of the things that we can do is we wanna make sure that we do a dive right down here. So if you watch, watch the placement of that shoulder. Right, right, right here, I'm against the chin, it's not gonna work, okay? If I go off, I'm just gonna squeeze his chin and that, that's just not gonna happen. So from here, I wanna keep my head tight, but I wanna sort of do a crunch and then drop my chin right into place. And if you look, now it's under the chin, not on top of the chin. So first thing, get under the chin. Second thing, when we go to the finishing position, again, I don't, I don't like to do the whole running around thing. I try to get as flat as possible and finish there. And this is, again, I used to try to do this one and like the sit back and all this other stuff and I had a lot of trouble finishing the arm triangle. And my instructor showed me how to do it this way and it makes a huge difference. So from here, when I finish, I'll bring my knee against the hip and I'm down low, I'm getting flat. My toe is pressed into the mat and I can finish this thing right here with just like just doing technique wise. I can finish this just right there with nothing, okay? Now obviously when you go up against someone, um, when you're rolling, you're gonna have to use that second hand to secure. So we get in here, just like this. Get the S grip, put our forehead down, I'm keeping it tight, and all I'm gonna do is press off of my toe that's pre uh, back here. I'm gonna press down and flex. Okay, so keeping everything down, I'm keeping my knee against it here. Let's give you a different angle. Get our position. Again, first things first, make sure that you're under the chin and not over top of the chin. We dismount and we drop to the side here. Now, everything's low, but the, the toes are pressed into the mat. When you finish, you're barely lifting your hips and your legs up, pushing off the toes and pressing everything into his neck, flexing down. One of the things that people will do to defend the arm triangle is they will take their hand and they will try to push out Okay, very common defense. It creates just enough space for them to breathe. So what we're gonna do is, okay, we get down here. We're down low, can't really quite finish it. So I'm gonna take my chin and slide it and put it into his eye. There we go. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm countering that push. So he's pushing out. I'm gonna slide my chin up his arm and push into his eye. Now, I'm not gonna put my chin in his eye socket, but it's kind of a cue, right? Put your chin in the eye. All right, so we get in here, go down low. He starts to do this. I can't quite finish it, so I'm gonna turn, let it slide up the shoulder. There it is, okay? Easy finish, okay? <coughs> so again, Mike, I hope that helps you out with your arm triangles, brother. So again, get under the chin, keep everything down. Um, it looked from your pictures and on Twitter, it looked like you're kind of a big guy, so I imagine that you're probably in the same boat as me, where sometimes it can be difficult. I'll show you guys real fast, just, just on a side note. Watch me, this is kind of funny. Watch me try to do this. Like, my little arms just don't, they don't cut it, okay? So, me trying to grab this bicep, <laughs> this shit ain't happening, okay? So that's why I, I typically go to this S grip opposed to everything else. So again, Mike, so I hope that helps you out with your arm triangles, brother. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys.